The controversy surrounding one City of Miami commissioner continues as the U.S. Marshals begin the process of seizing District 3 leader Joe Carollo's assets, but many questions are being raised surrounding the notice of levy on his home and if they'll actually put him out. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero is joining us now with the answers about the Coconut Grove home in question. District 3 Commissioner Joe Carroyo says he is not leaving his Coconut Grove home, but the U.S. Marshals put a notice of levy on his front gate saying they are coming for it to pay off his more than $63 million debt to two little Havana businessmen. I spoke with an expert on whether or not he could keep the house because it's a marital asset. You know, I'm being held in limbo like nobody else's. Joe Carroyo says the Coconut Grove home, which he purchased in 2001, is where he lives with his wife. And according to his attorney, under certain laws in Florida, the property cannot be seized. Just like when you go home tonight, and if your husband or wife had an action against them, and you have marital property, it's not subject to what's called tenants by the entireties, which is your marital property. It's not subject to seizure. CBS News Miami found a document where the commissioner filed a quick claim deed between him and his wife. But what does that mean? And it transfers basically it says, whatever I got, I'm transferring to you. If I have good valid title, now you have good and valid title. Kevin Fabricant is a South Florida real estate attorney. He tells me that a quick claim deed is usually done to simplify and speed up the process of transferring over a title of a home. He says while most of the time it's valid, if you owe money, it can stop the process, like a lawsuit. That, that's a creditor. They, we call them a judgment debtor and judgment creditor. The debtor is when it owes the money, who lost the lawsuit, and the judgment creditor is now the one that's owed the money. Regarding when the deed was signed, May 16th, 2023 was a month before Carroyo's judgment. So is it valid? Well, the lawyer says something like that can invoke the Florida Fraudulent Transfer and Conveyance Act. The fact that you know somebody is suing you, threatening to see you, coming after you, and you try to dispense yourself of your assets and give it to somebody else for no consideration, generally that can be what we call clawed back into their name. So you can take it back and act like as if it's in their name. On the Miami-Dade County appraiser website next to the quick claim deed, it says unable to process sale due to deed errors. In Miami, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.